This is a short introductory movie on how to create and work with lists in LSAC Workspace. LSAC Workspace is a new database that has become available in 2024 for uh, students and employees of the VU. Information on LSEC Workspace is available uh, in the LibGuides Finding Data, as you can see on this screen. Uh, the platform Workspace uses accounts uh, as soon as is possible. In 2024, you will find an option here to request such an account. Uh, let's go to the database. Uh, you can do that by either going to the website uh, workspace or uh, net web and you can also use the software to do the same thing uh, only you have more options available to you then that's whatever you prefer for basic lists you can use either option after logging in to the website uh, we get to a default screen for LSEC workspace this looks as follows and uh, what we want to do is cr create a list of companies. There's multiple ways to do it. Uh, you can choose options over here, for instance, make use of existing indices or other options available. What you can also do is go to the WS icon on the top left corner and choose the app library and go from there uh, to look for specific uh, apps that are available for different types of uh, equities, different types of uh, options. Uh, if you select, for instance, companies, you see different apps appear here. If, we, if you re remember the abbreviation next to the name of the app, for instance, OV, you can type OV in the app library bar at the top and immediately uh, go there uh, yourself. For instance, if I go to the default screen, uh, which is this one, and I want to go to the uh, option to create lists, I can do the screener app. I can select that, just type the name in and press enter, and you immediately get uh, the screener app uh, available to you. What you can do here is uh, make different selections for different types of equities. You can use uh, different uh, currencies. You can select different types of lists, for instance, for private companies, public or both, ownership data, uh, manager data, deals, private equity and liberal funds. Deals is basically a subset of SDC Platinum. If you want the full SDC Platinum, it's best to go to the Excel add-in for that. But let's stick with public companies. I want to make a list for, for instance, one or two countries. For instance, country of headquarters, I can just click on the add button over here and start typing in the name of the country that I want. For instance, I want France and uh, the next company that I want is, for instance, uh, Germany. Just mark the option for Germany. You see here it selects both. When we're done, it starts creating a screen. Uh, just a small reminder, this screen uh, only allows up to 5,000 uh, entities in a list. Um, if you don't see the variable or so option you want to filter on, you can type uh, the option in. For instance, if you're looking for industry uh, to select certain types of companies based on an industry, uh, just type in industry and you see all kinds of options appear that allow you to make a selection based on a certain industry either SIG, ICB, JIX, NAICS, etc. So there's plenty of options available. Just type in the variable you want to select on, to filter on, and you can use that. Uh, and it builds on that, uh, it narrows down. Um, if you want to change this screen, you can uh, add variables over here, type in the uh, item you want, and it allows you to add the item that you want to that list. For instance, icing codes, Let's say we want some basic codes, serial codes, and it just adds those. If you want to add financial type variables, that uh, I don't recommend doing that here. This is it's better to create lists here and take those lists to the Excel version of Workspace and work from there. If you want to save uh, a template, you can do that over here. Just say print the save button and say this is my uh, France and Germany selection. But basically, it's just uh, not exactly that selection, but also uh, 
a list of variables, variables, and you can choose a template or not. Uh, you, you don't need to save this as a template if you don't want. The screen is basically the selection. The template is the selection of variables. Let's save that. And we have our list. We can export that to Excel over here. And we can call that up. And here we have our list that we can work with.